Welcome to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. Today, I'm excited to show you this 2004 Mercedes CLK 500 Coupe. This is one of my favorite Mercedes from this era, and this is a gorgeous example. This only has 63,000 miles on it, and it presents really nicely both mechanically and cosmetically. So in this video, we're gonna take a detailed look at it. We're gonna go through things like the interior, engine bay, cargo compartments, and of course, this really nice looking exterior, this silver uh, metallic paint still shines as bright as it did really in 2004 when this car was sold. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to Alpha Cars. We share daily motoring content on exciting things like the CLK 500. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. But now let's take a closer look at this Mercedes. I'll start by saying this car is for sale at the time of this video posting. So definitely uh, give us a call, send us an email if you are interested and you are just one click away from viewing the pricing and availability. So definitely check out the listing on our website. It'll be linked in the video and in the description. But now that we have that out of the way, let's check out this CLK. So it is in direct sunlight today. It's a really sunny <laughs> New England day. So for the exterior, we will uh, view it in the sunlight and then for the interior I will move the car because it is a bit tricky to get an accurate view of the interior when the sun casts uh, its shadows in there and I want you guys to have a quality uh, viewing experience. So first starting on the exterior uh, on all of the metal panels we did confirm it is all original paint you can see all of the paint depth readings for each panel uh, on our website on that listing I talked about and just check out how this silver metallic paint shines and we're we're viewing it in the sun like i said so if there are some swirls some scratching some chips uh, you will see that the sun's going to bring all of that out so now looking at the windshield it all presents very nicely as well as the roof so the whole roof panel looks very nice the sunroof once again, the seal looks good, a uh, very nice shape there, and the glass is in good shape. Same thing with that aerial on the rear window. The sunshade uh, is up there. We will view all that in its operation uh, once we're into the interior. The trunk lid, everything just presents really, really nice on the CLK. Now, as we make our way down the driver's side, the chrome's in nice shape. I'll get the camera nice and close and we'll view it from this angle now. So look at the reflection there. We did do a light paint correction, which means uh, just polishing the factory paint because we really wanted to boost the gloss and any you know little bits of, of swirls or maybe marring on the clear coat we just wanted to remove that had been accumulated over the years. Because remember, this car is, uh, it is a 2004. So looking at it, you would really not expect it uh, to be of that age. Front bumper looks great, as well as the headlight lenses, the front grill. Even look at the badge there. It really looks nice. Same thing, all the reflectors. There's no scuffing on the sides of the lip. So we know the uh, previous owners really did care to watch out for maybe high curbs and stuff. And especially, uh, speaking of curbs and things you want to avoid, check out how nice these five spoke AMG wheels like these are really one of my favorite uh, AMG wheels. And we can see they are a staggered set. So the rears are a wider wheel with that kind of deep dish look. It just looks really, really nice. And of course, uh, let's talk about the tires on them. Nice set of Continental uh, DWS Extreme Contacts. And they all are at about a half life remaining. And the front brakes uh, are new. We have done some extensive servicing on this car, really just bringing it up to date uh, with any little thing it needed. So I will get into that in a few minutes. Our rear brakes are, I believe, around half life. But once again, all the specifics of the uh, mechanical items can be read on our online listing. But we can see all the wheels present really nice. And really there's no damage to speak of, apart from a couple little things I will point out. There's a light scuff here. And then I did notice 
on this front wheel. There is a light scuff right here. So once again, that could easily be a refinished. It's definitely within kind of tolerance or, or realm of doing that. It's not really gouged or anything. It's just kind of light, light scuffing that a, a technician could easily refinish. We could actually even do that for you if you wanted, but we are full transparency here. I just wanted to show you the true condition of the wheels there. And now I believe we need to go down the passenger side and we can see, I don't see any dings dents or irregularities. Actually, there is a very slight ding right here on the gas cap. You can see it right there pretty clearly in this lighting. So I will show that. But the paint isn't chipped or anything. It's just a little uh, blemish in the metal there. So now that we've really gone around uh, the whole exterior in a detailed fashion. Uh, let's let's keep admiring it for one second and let me talk about the service. So we've we've done uh, over eight thousand dollars in service between uh, cosmetic, uh, you know, reconditioning, uh, detailing, and mechanical items. We've done quite a bit of mechanical work on this car. We really wanted the next owner to be able to just purchase it, turn the key, and have a really uh, you know joyful driving experience because. This car only having 63,000 miles, that is ultra low for this platform. This five liter V8 is very robust, very reliable, and the uh, automatic transmission it's paired to, as long as it's been serviced, which this car and the Carfax, you can see over the years, it has had its transmission services, so that's good. And we also uh, serviced it here as well, so it has fresh fluid and filter. And I mentioned uh, that the transmission has had the regular servicing because they are the, these transmissions you can put tons of miles on they are really uh, i don't want to call it maybe anything bulletproof or give that guarantee but it's really one of the uh, most robust and reliable uh, you know transmissions mercedes has made they're really really good and these cars have an awesome track record you can look up for yourself as of course they've been around uh, for a little while now getting more into some of the things we've done uh, let me pop the hood quickly so with how the sun is shining, we can pop the hood and we shouldn't have any uh, weird shadows or anything with how the sun is positioned. So if I open up the hood here, just gotta find the release, there it is. There's a little shadow, but we can work with that. Really clean under here. And I want to read off a few of the things we've done while you admire uh, how clean this engine bay is. So some of the things we've done include an oil service, new valve cover gaskets, new drive belts, and uh, idler pulley, which we can actually see right there. We can see the very fresh part number on that Continental belt. Of course, we only use uh, OE products or OEM products. Uh, new wiper blades as well, the new front uh, brake pads and rotors, coolant system flush. We also did a uh, transmission bell housing reseal. So once again, with the uh, age of the car, that's really what you're fighting against with some of the rubber seals and the like. So we did the rear main seal and the transmission input shaft seal as we noticed some weepage when we got the car. And like I said, we wanted to put this car on its best foot uh, for the uh, next owner. So we did that uh, whole job there. And just look at how clean the heads are there. Fresh valve cover gaskets is another thing we did, I believe I mentioned. And as we look a bit more closely over here, I'll point a couple things out. Look at how clean the strut towers are. All the fender bolts, they haven't been uh, tampered with here. Let me get the camera a bit better. Uh, zoom. So if we see here, all of the fender bolts have not been messed with. And even look at all like the covers. Everything is in really nice shape. Even the hood insulation, all the factory stickers are here. So it's a really good thing to see. And now while I'm moving it, I'll, we can do a mini test drive. We'll put it in drive here. And as soon as I come off the brake, car starts to move very smoothly. You can see no normal noises going over some bumps here. And I come coming back around to the front Alpha cars, some other nice Mercedes Benz were passing. 
brakes are nice and smooth, no chattering or anything. Really just a nice driving car, really quiet place to be in here. The AC works great as well. We work, will explore uh, that operation. So now let's find a spot and inspect the interior. And now with the vehicle in a shady spot, let's check out this really nice uh, interior. Let's start with this door card here. Of course, this uh, is not a different color. This is the sun as we have a, <laughs> found a very small uh, opportunity of shade to be able to get this clear uh, footage, but all the switches look very nice. They all work, work very nice as well. You can see the seat there moving as it needs to. Even look at the door jams, super clean. And all of the, even look at this kind of base uh, trim piece of the door, the door gasket. Everything is in awesome shape. Even the, look at the little Torx screws there with the chrome plate. It all looks really nice. And same thing really uh, with the rest of the interior. It all kind of just presents like you would expect for a vehicle with, uh, you know, 60,000 miles on it. Let's move over to the passenger side. Uh, we can see the window mechanism there, how they all uh, kind of go down a little bit to open the doors. They all work as designed. And just look at the condition of everything. Look how nice the wood trim shines. Even all the switches, you can see nothing's worn away on the switches. There's no gouging or you know, anything of maybe someone kicking this with their foot. Once again, this uh, chrome plate and the screws there all very clean. Even the door edges, not an ounce of corrosion or rust or anything. Same thing with this door jam, even all these bolts in the brackets here for the door. Even look at this uh, bolt way in there for the front fender. It's all like perfectly clean, uh, no corrosion or anything like that. The sill plate looks really nice. And now let's look at the uh, back of the vehicle. The rear seat of this car is super impressive. I'm uh, about six feet tall and I can sit back there comfortably, believe it or not. So all we have to do is pull this little lever and the seat has this cool uh, mechanism where it lifts up and goes forward and then I've got plenty of room now where I can, I can literally just step into the car like a ton of width to get in here. I would say there's more room to get in the rear seat of this coupe than most maybe SUVs to get in like the third row. It's really quite amazing. Look at the material back here. It all presents so very nice. The sun shades up so you've got the privacy and the protection from the heat right now. When I uh, get in the driver's seat, I will show you the operation of that. And our armrest works great. You can see the material is nice. Cup holder comes right out. Of course, uh, these actually look pretty good. Uh, but of course, as we all know, uh, German cars of this vintage or of this era uh, were not known for their, their cup holder design, <laughs> maybe you could say. And once again, the material back here looks great. Let's look over here. All very nice, including the uh, window switch there. The carpet is in really nice shape. The rear vents work great. There's actually like a little blower motor in there. You can hear that uh, running as normally would when we turn on the climate control. AC in this car is nice and ice cold as well. The door pocket, no uh, gouging or anything like on the trims or the back of the seat. And then to put it back, all you do is just give it a push and it all latches back, uh, you know, as designed. And even the headrest goes back up to where you set it last uh, because for the seat to come up and move forward, it lowers itself automatically so it doesn't hit the roof. Now let's look at these seats. These seats are in impressive condition uh, for having the age, of course, and the 63,000 miles of use, which like I said, relatively low mileage, but it's also, uh, you've got the age working against you. But the bolsters, there's no, I wouldn't even say any wear marks or anything. There's one little piece of stitching right here that's a little loose, I will note that. But everything else, you know, maybe some very light little wear right here. But, you know, we've seen, we've seen a lot worse on cars that are a lot newer with less, with less mileage. Whoever had this vehicle definitely 
really uh, took care of it. This vehicle did have uh, a few owners over the years, I believe two or three owners, and uh, the car flat fax uh, reflects that, but it also, it also does have um, some nice service history on there as well. And now looking at the driver's seat, once again, this outer bolster where you get in and out of the car, uh, that is really in impressive condition. Maybe just a couple little marks of uh, wear just right there, but really hard to notice unless you point them out. And this seat has no you know, loose stitching or anything like that. The bolsters are in awesome shape. There's not even really wear on this bolster here, maybe uh, a couple little marks of wear, but that's really it, just normal wear from, from using the vehicle, uh, you know, very, very lightly. Now let's check out the factory uh, owner's manuals here. We have the original booklet. Let me get it in a better spot for us. And there's a whole picture of all this as well uh, on our online listing of all these booklets, but everything is in really nice shape. And this thing has like every booklet it came with when it was new uh, is still uh, in there. So the carpets are in awesome shape. We have our protective coverings on them. For now, we see really nice little storage net here. Let's open the glove box. This, we see we open it. The, the dampening effect is actually really, really nice. I had to kind of help it down uh, just a little bit. And then we have this that slides open for our CD changer. Nice bit of storage here. And of course the storage in our actual glove box. So that's all very nice. With that latch and then the dash condition awesome shape no really cracking or anything like that so from the looks of you know the interior as well as the exterior you know the sunroof seal looking uh, very nice and clean it really we would expect that the vehicle was was probably uh you know garaged most of his life is what you would assume from the condition of everything being uh this nice we have a nice storage cubby here. Uh, not a whole lot of room because we have storage up here too, but there is a forward cubby right there. And then this actually opens from both sides and it works great. So a lot of times with vehicles of this vintage, when these are kind of mishandled, uh, this mechanism might uh, you know, break <laughs> or stop working properly. And we can see over and over, I can open it from both sides. Everything's very tight and it really feels uh, very crisp there. So now let me go over to the driver's side and I'll get in the driver's seat and we'll just check out some of the functions of the vehicle here. So now that I've got the key, let's insert the key right here. Start it up. Starts very easily, runs very smooth of course. We can hear the our climate control is kicked on. I've got it set to 70. It is dual zone uh, with, with the auto function there. And it does blow ice cold. It's, it is 60 degrees out today, but the car did sit in the sun for a while for the first part of the video. And it was really hot in here and it was blowing uh, ice cold. You can see how nice the screen quality is. We can see there's no wear on the buttons here. The only bit of wear I can see is just right here. We see there, a little bit of wear on the, on the blower a down button but other than that everything looks really really nice almost you know you could say like like new which is hard to say on a vehicle of this age let me show you the uh, rear sun shades we can see i'll use this button here super fast works awesome i can put it back up and let me show you the sunroof Sunroof works awesome, super quick, no abnormal noises. Let me tilt it up, there we go. Tilt it back down, very easy and quick. And now check this out. This, you would almost expect nothing to be there. Very kind of inconspicuous, you might just think it's, a, it's just how they designed the dash. But check this out, slides out and then this cup holder just appears. Super cool design. Of course, like I said, the, the German cars of this era uh, maybe weren't known for the most reli reliable sorry, uh, cup holders, but they did have some really cool designs that you really won't find on a car today. So I do really like that. 
And we can see really how many features uh, this car has, especially for 2004. This has over $9,000 in factory options, including the Distronic Adaptive Cruise Control, Parktronic, Audiovisual Parking Assistant, Command Integrated Navigation, Heated Front Seats, a Sunroof Package, Lighting Package. Uh, so this thing really has a lot of factory options on it. And the, if we put it into reverse here, we can see our distance control comes up there so you can monitor how close you're getting to things just super cool stuff that they integrated in cars uh, of this era and it all it all really works uh, properly on this car and we can even down here in the center console uh, adjust some of the I believe sensitivity and the uh, center console little flip thing here works fine this stuff is actually kind of so stiff it makes it seem like it wasn't really uh, really used. So it's really kind of firm operation and it's not binding or anything just with how the mechanism works. It doesn't even seem like it had a lot of use just like the glove box. So once again just really impressive. I will note there is a little bit of wear on the steering wheel, uh, the wood trim on the steering wheel on the bottom and the top. So you may have noticed that and of course I'm going to mention any little thing the car may exhibit. Once again, this wasn't misuse or, or anything like that. This is just due to the age of the vehicle. And unfortunately, we do see this pretty common in this era of Mercedes. Now let's look at our lighting controls. Once again, there's no uh, worn out buttons or anything. Everything works properly. Now let's check out a party piece of this car. Let's roll down our windows here. Both of our windows. And now you have no center pillar Let's roll down these two next to me. So now check that out. You have really for the front and rear occupants, you have a ton of room, no center pillar. It's really a party piece of this car. It's awesome to be going down the road with the full, <laughs> the full side of the vehicle open. From the side, it, it literally feels like you're in like a convertible or something. And of course, all of these windows uh, work properly. Let me put this back one up first, and then our front one. And now, if I show you this one. So really, really quite impressive. Everything really works as designed on this car, and it really, you can tell it was cared for over the years. So now let me turn it off here. And then let's pop the trunk, check out our cargo area. All we do is we hold that button and then we'll be greeted by the trunk already being open uh, from us. The uh, factory kind of spring assist works as designed. So opens right up. You can see the material inside the trunk lid is very nice. All the gasket, the uh, little rain tray portions, everything is just, in really nice shape. This car is also very practical, even being a coupe. Like I said, the rear has a lot of legroom and coupled with the fact that with these levers, uh, you can fold down the seats in a 60-40 split. Uh, you know, you can pass through your, your snowboard or skis or whatever, uh, even though you're in, you know, the sporty little V8 coupe. Now we have the factory mats. Let's take a look at these. We can see the rear mats there look very nice. Our detailer did some very nice striping there. And now looking at the front mats, perfectly clean. Like, look, over here where normally there's a lot of, uh, you know, wear from the driver's uh, heels, there's really none of that on this car. There is maybe a little bit of wear right here, but that's really about it of what I see. Trunk is surprisingly uh, big on this car. Little nice uh, side compartment there. And now let's explore the uh, under the trunk floor. So. A little tech tip for you, these handles usually have a hook on them. So then you just hook it there and it'll keep the trunk floor up for you. We have even more storage room. We've got all little dividers here. I mean, this almost looks like a, you could have a smorgasbord of food or something, um, but I don't recommend putting that in here. But once again, maybe you wanna have, you know, your winter hats and gloves or roadside, uh, you know, assistant stuff you wanna keep in here. Really, it's obviously up to you, I just like, seeing all the organization. Now, taking out this center fastener, uh, this just pops right out, so let's remove that. And then we have our factory spare tire, factory toolkit, 
even in this little cubby, there's still the specific uh, lug bolts you need to use if you put the spare on, and there's some fuses and just other general things in there. And even there's the white gloves Mercedes gives you right from the factory, so then you don't get your hands dirty uh, if you do have a flat tire and you need to get somewhere uh, without, <laughs> without dirty hands. So it's good to see those are still uh, in there. Because once again, commonly we'll find on vehicles that maybe weren't uh, cared for too well, they'll be missing things like that, missing things in the factory toolkit. Uh, they'll get used once and then they don't find their way back. In this car, uh, really, if that even has been used, it has found its way back. And as I just showed you, it's in really, really nice shape. So now let's shut the trunk. Even while the trunk's open, look at this, the handle, the key slot, the uh, license plate lights there. Everything just presents awesome. You know, there's no caked up dirt or corrosion or anything up in there like you might see on vehicles uh, that maybe aren't properly uh, cleaned or cared for over the years. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I know we may have jumped around a little bit with, with what we're looking at on the car uh, because of just the kind of sunlight conditions. I just had to move it partway through the video, but I did my best there with keeping it kind of kind of rolling smoothly uh, like i said if you're interested interested in this car feel free to reach out to us 978-263-9000 and if uh, if you caught this video too late and this car is uh, gone then don't sweat it we always have vehicles like this coming through our inventory we really seek out vehicles like this and hand hand select them uh, to then you know improve and then offer uh, to you our alpha cars customer so i hope you uh, learn something new about the CLK. I hope you like this car as much as I do. I think these are really cool with the features and the fact that you can really use the back seat for more <laughs> for more than you know maybe your kids. I think that's super cool uh, as well. And of course, this styling is really timeless. You might look at this car and you might not be able to tell exactly when it was made. It might only look uh, five years old to some people. So I really like that too. They really just knocked it out of the park with the CLK here. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe so then you don't miss out on the latest motoring content.